a short video, it's just demonstrating the way I put together a little spiral for a rolling ball sculpture. I'm going to start off with a straight piece of stainless steel or copper. In this case, I'm going to be using copper just because it's easier to work with. And with this method, I'll show you how we can do that. We can have the same pitch with a different diameter. Or we can have the same diameter with a different pitch. And this is hopefully what we're going to end up with from this piece of copper that we've got over here. So what we do is start with a piece of rod in a vise and all we do is just wind the copper around the rod, it doesn't have to be too accurate at this stage. As you can see I'm not taking too much care over the pitch at this stage uh, because what we're doing now will stretch the wire and give you the pitch and diameter that we want at the end of the day. Okay, this is going to be a long one. Right, so there we go. We're off to the races. I just use a piece of my 1.8 stainless steel over here. And just because it's a lot firmer than the copper, push it into the spiral. Take the copper, uh, the stainless steel, put it under the bar that we just used. The straight piece, just pull it around and under the stainless steel. Being copper, you've got to work very carefully with it because it, it bends easily. Stainless steel is a little, while you have to work harder at it, it's easier to make the spirals. And we just twist. Keep on twisting. The first, first run through that you have to do, you've got to work pretty hard just to stretch the wire, get the pitch and diameter sorted out. You can see how it's starting to look like the spiral over here when it looks like this underneath. And there you have it. We've pretty much got ourselves a spiral now, but as you can see, it's still not 100%. I like to make it a little longer than I'm going to need it. What that allows me to do then is just to cut it. Can if we want, Let's just do another run through of that. It'll go a whole lot easier this time. Okay, so what we've got at the moment pretty much is we've got a spiral whose ID is going to be pretty close to the ID of our rod plus the thickness of our stainless rod that we put through there. What do we do if we want to make a bigger pitch? Bigger piece of pipe. a pitch but we don't want our diameter to be as big as this pipe here we just drill a hole through our rod that we've got over there drop the spiral on and go through the same motions we've just been doing yeah you can see at the end it's starting to get bend not quite over the spiral so this is why I mean we make it a little bit longer than we need it so that we can cut the ends off. So as you can see we've gone from that straight piece of copper we're starting to look a little bit like a rolling ball structure. If we now want to make this uh, the spiral bigger diameter what we've just been doing we can either put this underneath we can drill the hole further down so we can have a series of holes around here and depending on how deep we put them we can then vary the diameter okay the copper doesn't quite work as easy as the stainless steel but once we get it going the spin is 
spin it. Now we're going to get a similar pitch to what we've just had, but we're increasing the diameter. I wish I'd made it a smaller spiral. Anyway. What we can do there, you can see the different holes, we've got different diameters, different depths giving you different pitches. What I do is I just drill a number of holes around and depending on which where you put your, your piece of stainless steel through there, it's going to give you the different pitches and different diameters. When it came to making this big one over here, bigger pipe, that's what we did. Number of different holes coming out the side, you gave me the different pitches and diameters. If you're on a small pitch with a big diameter, bigger pipe. So there, what we're doing is we're getting the pitch of this rod and the diameter of the spiral of the two rods together. 